Hey guys, so I'm here to show you the new SL Room Control app for your iPad or Mac or PC that basically enables you to control the DSP in your Studio Live AI PA speakers. Now, why do you even need DSP? Well, no matter how great your speakers sound, they're going to sound different from room to room based on the anomalies that are in the different rooms that you have those speakers in. So if you have a really bad sounding, you know, frequency in a particular room, you're going to need some type of processing to basically have your speakers flattened out or basically the you know flat response so that they sound the same from room to room. Now, this is accomplished with most any other speaker system using an external speaker processor box that has parametric EQ and delay and notch filtering and that kind of a thing. But we put that processing into the actual Studio Live AI PA speakers and we gave the control either wirelessly using the iPad or wired using a Mac or PC. Now one of the coolest things about the way that this works is that um, you have the ability to have a really cool visual uh, cue on which speaker you're controlling. So as you can see, you know, when I select a particular speaker, the logo on that speaker is going to turn from blue to white as soon as I select it. So that enables me to know which speaker I'm actually EQing so I don't accidentally EQ the wrong speaker. Uh, and additionally, I get a lot of visual feedback from the iPad or my Mac or PC on what's happening inside of the speaker. So, you know, if I'm if I'm mixing out front and I feel like, oh man, I might be I might be pushing the system a little bit too hard. I'm, you know, am I am I clipping? Well, with any other PA speaker out there, if you're wondering if you're clipping or not, you're gonna have to run back and look on the back of the speaker and see if the clip lights come in out. But that's the beauty of this SL room control. I can actually look on my iPad and not only see if I'm clipping individual components of the speaker, but it even tells you the temperature within the speaker. So let's dig in and let me show you SL Room Control. Okay, so the first screen that you come into uh, basically enables you to create a venue. So um, you can set up different names or different venues for the different places that you play at. So we'll just hit add new venue. We can name it. Okay, I'm playing at the varsity tonight. Great hit add and then you'll come to this screen which shows all of the speakers that are on the network and again when I select a speaker you know you'll see the logo turn from blue to white when I'm selecting that speaker so when I hit this little gear box um, it opens up the settings for that particular speaker and as you can see I can solo that speaker I can mute that speaker I can look at the temperature within that speaker. I can turn the high pass filter on or off. I also have the ability to basically change the, the different modes. Now this is also able to be done on the back of the uh, studio live speakers. You know, you have the ability to change from normal mode to floor monitor mode. LBR source mode, that's an, a really cool one. That's uh, low bit rate source and what, what that enables you to do is basically make an mp3 sound a lot better so it retunes the speaker if you're playing mp3s through it so uh, it's a really cool feature now the other thing that you get is a nice visual cue this is a meter right here so if i had signal running through you'd see the meter and uh, if you're starting to overheat or go into thermal, you see this little flame, that little flame will come on. You definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, and then the next thing you have is these sliders right here. So I can turn the overall volume of that speaker up or down just by grabbing the slider. I can also, you know, go down incrementally like this, or I can just type in a value like this. Uh, the next thing is speaker delay. Now this enables me to, uh, if I'm using, let's say, um, a pair of speakers as delay stacks, uh, to be able to time align my delay stack speakers to my front of house speaker. So I have up to 500 milliseconds of delay. And this is really um, quite a bit of delay uh, that's available for you. Next you have a brick wall limiter with a variable threshold. And down below here, you've got eight bands of parametric EQ. That's a fully, fully parametric, so I can, you know, boost a particular frequency, I can adjust the Q, that kind of a thing. And in addition to the eight bands of parametric, I also have, by hitting this notch button, eight additional notch filters. 
okay? And uh, notch filter basically is a cut only type of uh, EQ with a very tight bandwidth. Uh, this is really great for, uh, you know, if you're using your Studio Life speakers as floor monitors and you want to notch out uh, f frequencies that are feeding back. I mean, this is awesome to get your iPad, go in front of the speaker, cup the microphone, and just kind of drag around until you get rid of the feedback. So um, you have the notch filters right here. If you want to start all over and flatten, you've got this little reset button right here. Okay, and the other really cool thing is, is that you have the ability to set up a preset for a particular speaker. So, you know, let's say this speaker was underneath the balcony. Uh, I hit save and I can call it uh, balcony. Okay, and now uh, I have the ability to, um, you know, recall that setting. It just stays in the memory. Or I can load in a particular speaker um, preset. So you can save. Uh, an infinite number of presets. You can even write, you know, um, notes down here uh, uh, under the left balcony. Here we go. Something like that. Okay. Now, when I go back to the main page, and let's say, you know, I just finished with this particular speaker, and I want to just take these exact settings and copy them over to another speaker. If I right click, it basically brings up a copy paste dialog. I just hit copy, select on the other speaker that I want to paste it to, right click, hit paste, done. Now we have two identical speakers. Okay, the next thing that you have the ability to do is set up groups of speakers. This is really cool. So, you know, I can actually group pretty much Let's say if I wanted to put just my subs on a group, then I would be able to control just my subs together. Now, of course, remember, I still have the you know, ability to EQ each sub individually, but when I put them into a group, let me show you what happens. Let's, let's go ahead, since I only have one sub on the network, I'm going to go ahead and create a group for the two, 328 tops. Okay. So all I have to do to create a group is just drag them down into the speaker group. Okay, and now they're in a group. And remember, I still have the individual EQs by hitting the little gear button. But if I hit the gear button on the group, you'll see I've got an overall volume for the group. So I can turn those three two eights, the, the pair of them, up or down in volume. I also have a 31 band graphic EQ that I can apply to them. Okay. Uh, and of course, you know, reset right here. Um, but let's say, you know, let's say I, I, I went ahead and I drew in a little uh, EQ curve, right? And I also have the ability to save that. Okay, so we'll just call this whatever um, Justin's favorite uh, setting. Giving my boy Justin a shout out. Okay, so now we have this speaker. Uh, ready. So next time I go into that room, all I have to do is load that in uh, for the group. Okay. So that's basically a quick overview of Studio Live room control for the AI speakers. It's a free download on the App Store. And of course, if you own these speakers, all you have to do is go to my.presonus.com and they're in your, your use, the Mac and PC version will be in your user account. So thanks a lot for watching. Mm -hmm.